Okay, did you get Allegro installed? The next thing to do is to create a blank project. Find your way to the linker under Compile and Debugger or Project Options, depending on your IDE, and type in dash L A L L E G and hit OK. First off, at the top of main.cpp, or whatever you choose to name it, you need to put include allegro.h. Initialization needs to happen before you do anything with Allegro in your project. Here's how you do that. The very first thing should be Allegro init. Afterwards, install the timer, sound, keyboard, and if you want, mouse. Then you set the color depth. Usually, I'll make a full screen boolean and initialize it. Then have an if statement to set up the window as either full screen or window depending on what it's initialized to. You can also have a function to toggle full screen mode that does the same thing. That's it for initializing, but we're going to do a few more things. We will declare a buffer and create bitmap of the screen resolution. We're also going to create a basic loop like this. While not pressing the key escape, fill the buffer with the color red, and once we're through an iteration of the loop, we're going to draw to the screen like this. We're going to blit the buffer to the screen. The parameters here are the image, which is our buffer, the destination, which is the screen, the x and y coordinates to begin drawing from on the image, and we want the entire image, so we'll start at the top left at 0, 0, the x and y coordinates to draw them to, so also at 0, 0, and the width and the height of our buffer image, which is the screen resolution. Once the user hits escape, it will leave the loop. Make sure to use the destroy bitmap function for every bitmap you create and return zero. Also, don't forget to put end of main at the end of main. If you don't have it, you'll get errors like undefined reference to win main at 16. Normally with the game, you will use double buffering. This will keep the screen from flickering. Basically, instead of drawing directly to the screen, we draw everything to a surface or bitmap, which we named buffer, and once everything's drawn to the buffer, the buffer is drawn to the screen. Really, the initialization functions should not be in main. Normally, I would create a game or a system class and put the initialization code into a constructor or a setup function. That way, main will look more like this. One of your goals in making games is to have as little in main as possible. Don't forget your DLLs! In the folder with your exe file, make sure you have either aleg42.dll or sdl.dll in the same directory, or it will complain about a missing DLL when you try to run it. <laughs> 